Good evening, this is Rob Wilson. Welcome to the Eurodollar Market Preview for Thursday, the 10th of May, 2012. And going into tomorrow's market, I'm a seller of pullbacks until or unless the market rallies above 130 with conviction. I'm also a buyer of strength at 128.80. If you want to know the method of my madness, stay tuned and we'll get into it. Okay, well, look, uh, let's start off with a look at today's price action. Uh, essentially, um, you know, price fell overnight through Asia. We bounced from um, support at 129.65, back up to retest this key uh, level of 130 even. And then as soon as we got into America, we broke to the downside. We tested very briefly at 129.10 to 12. And then we shot back up to uh, retest 129.65 as resistance. Okay, so as far as I can tell, the, you know, the downtrend is still very much uh, in effect and becoming more and more established against this uh, downward sloping resistance line. Let's come up on scale. Look at that from the one hour perspective. You can see this is the you know the gap lower on Sunday, which was today tested, defeated, and retested as resistance. So, you know, whilst you can never be sure what will happen overnight, um, we're running out of reasons not to have a look at 128.80, which is the next resistance, sorry again, next support I see, right up on the daily time frame. Now, we have definitively fallen now below this key support level at 130, even and that's where we're going to end the day. And that's the first time we've been there since um, since you know the, the back end of January. When I look at um, you know potential support, I'm really looking down here at the tops of this sort of range, and I see support potentially at 128.80. Um, and then if we get through there, well, you know certainly on a daily basis, you know I don't really see an awful lot. I can't see an awful lot down to 126, 126.25. Uh, you know so. You know, who knows? Against that, you know, we have now come down quite a long way, and I'd be, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind betting that, um, you know, we fall to about 128.80 or even 129, and there's some sort of bounce, and that really wouldn't change the bullish bias. This is, on the one hand, a sustainable um, downward channel, but you know, if we see an extension. Then that could be the pro you know all the provocation the bulls need to you know, to take a value purchase and drive the market well anywhere back to you know be up and beyond 130 even and indeed you know my bullish bias wouldn't really be be shaken until we climb above 13080 and we'd have to do so with real power for um, that bullish you know bias to be um, seriously shifted so that's how we look at the moment. When I look at the news going to tomorrow, there's quite a lot going on. Uh, we've got figures out at 0400, euro specific, 0430 for sterling, 0700, then 830, 930, 10 and 1030 once North America is open. Now the North America um, figures in particular are you know, fairly heavyweight and you know, have the ability to, uh, to turn the market very much so. So it really is a case of putting those figures in your system and uh, just be very careful around you know, trading around news because any one of those really has the ability to, um, to alter sentiment meaningfully. Okay, so what does it all mean? Well, for me, the bear trend remains underway, as I've said. You know, I see structural resistance at 129.65, just above price at the moment, 130 even, 130.35, and 130.80. And even up as far as 131.20, and then support really, you know, without that, that half of that little inflection point, the swing low at 129.10. For me, the most meaningful level below price at the moment is 128.80, and that could well be where we go tomorrow. News: 0400, 0437, 830, 930, 10, and 10.30 years. T is a lot going on, so please be careful. So, with regard to the plan, then I do have a short bias. However, I am now expecting a pullback, so I am prepared to scalp long unless we break back through 180, 130.80 with conviction. Okay, so yeah, that sounds confusing, doesn't it? 
you know, on, on, you know, on the bottom line is, you know, 128.80 is on the cards, and it may well be tomorrow. We may just not look back, but it'll be very interesting to see how, you know, price sits when we um, when London opens tomorrow morning. And with so much news out, there could be a bull pullback opportunity there. And I think we're, you know, we're becoming pregnant for one. So, you know, I'm, I will try to go into t tomorrow with a with with my bear bias intact. But you know, if I see the the prospect of scalping a few to the long, or if I see a meaningful reversal, then you know that is how I shall trade. I hope that makes some sort of sense to you. Get some kip tonight, as usual. If there's any meaningful update to give it 0300 EST, I shall do so. Otherwise, that's all I got. Wilson out.